Well, hello there. Welcome back to the Thomic Circle. I am Niseros. And today I have a few more improvements I would like to show you. First of all, thanks to some comments on the last episode, I did remember that uh, I could simplify my sorting system quite a bit. So let me show you what I did there. First of all, there's no chest anymore, uh, and which means I don't need that. Um, and uh, instead I have this relay and the relay is it's not cheap um, requires a transposer and a buffer transposer you should know how to make and a buffer uh, well, let's just go back to the relay the buffer is wood and some iron bars uh, and what that does is I'm gonna go down here and show you this is the the relay right there and um, it acts as an inventory and like a chest and anything that gets put into it automatically gets sorted and because there's no need for redstone there's no need for redstone <laughs> and it just works so if there's no timer there's no redstone tubes because sorters will work without redstone if they are in line like this if they're in the tube they will act like a tube so that's that's that I made made a lot more improvements too but not to the sorting machine to the rest of the room um, I added these seals these are well I'll show you These are Thomic boosting um, seals. They, oh, except they're not working right now. For, oh, for that at least. Uh, they are these. And that just means that it's getting the full Thomic boost. This has one too. Um, I think this does have one. No, it doesn't have one. And these don't have one, but I think it, it looks better with one over here. Let's see, also, oh, I put this in the roof. This is a damaging, a creature damaging uh, symbol right above my, oh, oh I don't even notice. <laughs> Almost right above my crucible. Um, and it, it will, well, actually, I want to cheat. I'm going to cheat real quick and I want to show you. Let's get some zombies and watch <laughs> oh it's so good uh, let's get rid of that let's go over here and you'll notice um, well I've been fiddling with with decorating up here thinking about designs um, this is kinda silly but I was just looking a door I have a door and I have some more symbols. I'll show you what those do in a minute. The door is, is pretty awesome. It's powered by pistons. Uh, let me show you how it works. It opens and then after a couple of seconds it closes. And it will do this on both sides. Both sides. So I can get in and out. And I have enough time to go through. Uh, the wiring is actually really simple. I'm going to go down here and show you. If we go over here. Oh yeah, I changed the floor around too. Um, anyhow, there is just red wire sticking on all of the pistons. The ones up there and the ones down here. It's just red wire. There's no, no gimmicks. And the red wire comes down here and attaches to this. This that's well, well whatever this is a T floppy where is it not the latch the toggle latch that's a toggle latch right there and what this does is it's hooked up to I oh, don't need that one anymore that was a test one it's hooked up to a button right there and a button right there 
and those are the respective buttons and all that does is it switches this aha so every time you flip the switch the pistons open aha and then the repeater what happens is uh, this is suddenly powered which turns off this one makes the peters the, the pistons go down open and then uh, the repeater holds it for a couple of seconds and then triggers the latch again so it's a self untriggering system basically and that's it that's pretty simple I tried other designs first like with the block breakers and stuff it was just it was kinda messy I didn't like it alright so these this left one here is a healing I think it looks cool uh, it heals a group of players that walk by here and are damaged. Uh, this one, I wanted this one to actually be feed. I wanted it to feed players, but uh, that is actually not a seal, unfortunately. Maybe in the future. Uh, instead, <laughs> I went ahead and just damaged everything nearby. Uh, creatures. Only creatures, so non-players. And a big area of effect, so it just destroys everything near it. Um, at the same time, this one sucks the creatures, so they get stuck right here and burn. <laughs> so I'll show you that. Actually, it happens that this is a very wicked uh, wisp killer. <laughs> they just kind of fly by and <laughs> they can't help it. They get sucked in. All right. So let's put some zombies over here. Yeah, they're boned. They can't do anything. They can't chase me. Burninators. All right, let's get rid of these cheaties. Go back. All right. So that's that. I have some more new stuff. I'm gonna go clear the inventory. And sleep. So here's the outside of the door. I did put up some lighting. And I will do this for you. What the? There it is. Uh, yeah, so there's the piston. As you can see. Okay. Uh, I did start putting up more walls. This is the proper height for the hallways. As you see, they when the hallway goes up, it goes up one. So it's always six blocks high, I believe. Yeah, six. Ding dong. Um, these are going to be windows. Stupid slime. And so this is going... This, this should help you see how how things will look let's see oh yeah in here I went through with a bunch of dirt and smoothed out all these corner areas um, because there was a huge hole here that went underneath there it was like a, uh, a little ravine and I did this for most of them I think it looks a lot better Moved all of them out. This isn't done. There will be no gap there. Once I'm finished, it will look like over here. We'll get to the library in a minute. You can see I've been adding things to it. Fix this area. This was a huge pit that went underneath again. Got rid of that. And then you know over there is just it's all done up. Ooh, nice roof. All right, the library. Let's take a look. Um, I moved the ceiling up a couple of blocks I felt cramped it was right above these things and I moved it up two more blocks also I took out took out I took out the middle and I, I took out these little holes that were above this I think it it opens the library up quite a lot more makes it feel a little bit more grand and now we have this nice 
balcony, I'm going to put uh, post here, fences, so you can't fall down. And I'm not dis I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do up here. I need suggestions, so give me suggestions. Um, I want these to be big pillars, so so consider these four bricks to continue going up, however tall the building will be. Think of them as support struts. And I don't know what's going to be up here. We could continue doing library books because it is a library in some in some fashion. Down here, I oh, I forgot about that. I continued this path here with some windows. Correct height again. Just getting things closer to finished. 1.3 is going to be out soon. I think it'll take a while for Thumbcraft to be updated 1.3. So I'll have a little bit of time still. I think. Unless Azanor just crushes it out. He might. Okay. Uh, back here. Somebody asked me why this was open. Uh, this is going to be where the, the remainder of this island is where housing is going to be. Player housing. Like uh, dorms, basically. Um, and it works out pretty good because it seems that this school has taken up pretty much this entire island. We might have a little bit of forest down here because I don't think housing should take much more room than this. It's going to go up higher. Also, uh, something I haven't talked about the the school is, is I mean far from from finished I still am not sure what I'm going to do here, here. I'm, I think I'm probably going to leave it open skied like I've been saying but I do have this idea for maybe maybe above this my building my headmaster quarters or these classrooms might continue up and be something else other things but I do have other ideas for buildings that I want to do. I just kind of running out of room. And yeah, nothing's changing here yet. Actually, I did make one more small change. Well, two more small changes. I added a bunch more crystals. Each time, here, here's something. I had to make two self-repair bells. Um, one bell pretty much goes through two floors now. Look at all these crystals, man. I get like one to two stacks of each crystal now per per thing. So that's a small change. And then over here, I noticed that my reed, my little tiny reed farm wasn't always working. So I set up one of these because I figured it was the chunk was unloading. So here is a giant five by five chunk loading um yeah so this chunk and then the 24 surrounding chunks remain loaded i can show you what that is actually it's kind of a, a cool effect if you have not seen this before take a wrench and right click it once and it turns on these little sparklies and show you where the chunks are and show you what chunks are being loaded all the way out to here and up here as well <clears throat> this one is from the teleport runes I believe teleport runes keep your chunks loaded okay okay so if you want to turn it off you have to go back it will fade after like two minutes or something or you could just turn it off Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, I need to go collect a lot of marble and also that other stuff. Basalt. Yep, yeah, basalt. Um, and that's not going to be very fun. I will show you if anything exciting happens, though. But I saw a volcano over yonder. Uh, it was a very flat and pathetic looking volcano, so I'm going to go destroy it. 
gleefully. What is this? Nighttime. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? Blech. Yes. Indeed. <laughs> what the? All right. I got. <laughs> I got a bunch of stone, as you probably noticed. Uh-huh. Good. Uh, I'm going to add marble. And in this bag, we've got some of this. And I'm going to put that. And up here, I can just unload all of this. Oops. All right, <clears throat> we are currently cooking basalt cobblestone, uh, and I'm just gonna make some bricks out of this stuff. If you've never used this stuff, what? You're crazy. You should use it. Really, that's pretty good. It looks good at least. And uh, I got some comments regarding what should go in the basement and that's what we're gonna do of the library by the way so just wait for this to smell we'll be back okay so much of uh, my my problem right now oh, look look at that uh, um, is what to do with down here because these gray bricks are I mean they're okay but they don't really go with the Eldritch Stone so I have a couple of options the first uh, we're looking at is this one and two things to notice the design in the middle which is whatever optional the design doesn't matter what I'm what I'm showcasing is that it's inset in the wall it's it's replacing where the gray bricks are um, so this is option a this next one is option B and it's not inset it's it's pulled out and the rest are, are pulled out like this um, some sort of like stretch system so that's B this one is C and then this one is D and I want you guys to vote on which one you like most and then if you don't like any of these put your own in leave a comment tell me what what else to use here because I'm not really sure I kinda like this one the most I think I also like this one but that's gonna take a lot more work so tell me which one holy shit scared the shit out of me sucker Okay, so, <laughs> before I got scared the shit, um, what I'm doing is emptying this stuff, first of all. Uh, I'm going to take a bunch of wood and my saw, and let's get out of here. We need to... I'm going to put tables in the Grand Hall. It's time. It's time for the tables. And I've decided to try this and see if I like the light wood. I don't know if I will. And I'm not even sure how I'm going to do this yet. So, the tables, these are posed, okay. Tables are going to go on, on this gray here. And this should be an aisle, so I think people should sit here. But I don't want the table to be too too small either. It needs to look right. No! No! Stupids. Okay. Uh, let me take that back. So, if we go 
here, and then we can put that on top of it. I think that would be a good table. But I can't decide if I should do one every... Let's just do it and see. Let's see how it looks. Plop, plop, plop. Well, there's there's the first draft, rough draft. I think it looks okay. Uh, on the server, I don't have any stairs on me. On the server, we do have that plugin that pretend that's a stair. If you come up to it and right click it brings you and it sits you down so you could look around and sit so that's something to consider we could put stairs here chairs facing the table or we could just have people stand up next to it it is it is minecraft you never know i think both options are viable personally uh, also i wanted to look at just using blocks yeah I think that's better I think that's an obvious well I guess it doesn't really look like a table but it looks like a st stool bench area so I don't know Uh, for those of you who are on the server or are following the information for the server, we just recently updated Forge to 3.3.8 and also as of today we are using uh, Industrial Craft version 1.9.7 which fixes some bugs. Um, so let's talk about the bugs on the server. Industrial Craft has a lot, a lot of bugs, but it seems other servers don't have these bugs. A while ago, back when we were with the previous host, they told us that our world got corrupted somehow, and I guess, I guess it's possible things happen. Um, like I guess World Edit could have corrupted it because the server did crash a couple times because world edit just couldn't handle something so I guess it's possible um, the old host did try to fix it by uploading a non non corrupted world but it set us back like three days and we just didn't see any changes in the corruption or not there was no there was no evident um, effects from the corruption so we just didn't we just didn't deal with it um, but now uh, once we changed the way that um, our multi-world plugin we changed our multi-world plugin and ever since then it the server randomly sets itself to night and day like not continuously but like every five or ten minutes and it is it is a little bit random so that's really annoying and we can't figure out why and we think that's because of the world corruption also industrial craft um, is not working well either it's being affected by it and we think it's also it happened at the same time with the multi-world plugin so we think it has to do with the corruption so um, these this is one of the biggest reasons why we are doing the map reset which will happen in in about a week weekish um, that plus we there were just some things that we gotta set right some people got um, 
free money for because our economy plugin wasn't set up properly because the the prices were outdated and creative mishaps etc so that's why we have to do a map reset because the world's corrupted and some things aren't legit and we want to fix that as it stands right now <coughs> it's very unlikely that we will keep industrial craft unless uh, unless um, in the new world we see that it's not as corrupted as buggy even then man oh even then I just it's so it's okay I mean it's okay but it's OP it's so OP but that said if we do keep industrial craft I guarantee you there will no be quantum armor for instance and some people don't agree with that because it is part of industrial craft and I'm sorry if you don't agree but I feel better not having quantum armor on there diamond armor is good enough enchanted diamond armor is phenomenal so people are just gonna have to live with it or I mean or find a new server shit we're not the only server out there but the server is for you I don't run it for my own sake I don't I don't play on it too much I come on every once in a while to fix things and uh, mingles but it's for you guys <laughs> I came in here and there was a skeleton chilling and he dropped a magic well a power one bow oh let's talk about that real quick I haven't even mentioned it some may notice a uh, some tool tips first of all the EMC value that is because I updated equivalent exchange and I just didn't say it because I'm getting rid of the plugin but I updated it anyhow um, but I also downloaded this plugin it's really an add-on for Thumbcraft uh, by another person. It's in the main thread of Thumbcraft 2 though. And it adds smelting and research values to most items if they can be used for it. So for instance, let's take a look at let's get that out of there. Dirt is smelting value is nothing. Smelting being going in here. Um, yep, that's that's a smelting value of two. Oh, that's that's got a smelting value of four. Ooh, and a research value. Let's see, four two four two. So yeah. Speaking of which, let's do let's put some V's in here. We could use a little bit more. Good. <laughs> I need that. Alright guys, uh, this is going to be the end of the episode for today. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, but that's how it is. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I will see you guys again. <laughs>